video we'll be discussing some common data types in R. And so the first data type we'll look at is the numeric. And so if we have n is equal to 4 and we run that, the way in which we'll tell the data type of something is by typing class. So if we do class of n, we see that it's numeric. Now, in order to change this to an integer, we can do n is equal to 4l. And if we run that, we see a class of n, we see that it's now integer. Now, a way in which we could convert numeric to integer is, let's say we have n as numeric. We can do as.integer of n. And then let's run the class of that. And you see that it's now an integer. So those are, so I'm going to just write numeric integer. The third data type is a character vector, or just a character. So let's say k is equal to cat. And this is basically just a string. And so if we run this and we type class of k, you see that it's a character. Next we have logical. So if we type m is equal to true, then we look at the class of m, you see that it's logical. You can also do m is equal to capital T. Class of m, we see that it's logical also. And so these are uh, basically the four um, sort of inherent ones, and then two other ones that we're going to look at uh, that are kind of specific to R are lists and factors. And so lists, uh, the best way to demonstrate lists is by just showing it. So let's just type my list is equal to list, let's say A, B, and C. And then so we're going to just look at this. You see that this list has three components, and you can access those components by typing um, these two brackets followed by the component number and then uh, close the two brackets. So we'll do my list. If we wanted to access the first element of the list, uh, you see that the first element is A. And then if we wanted to access the second element, we type this, B, and um, so on and so forth. So I'll just put that under the lists. Now factors, the case in which we use factors um, is to basically denote groupings. And so it comes in handy when you have like an integer that really means a group. And so the way, what I mean by that is let's say we had um, three, uh, three teams, three soccer teams, right? And then we, we labeled the teams by saying, okay, um, the uh, champ championships of the first team will be denoted by one. So let's say the first team in, um, in some year, they, uh, team one and won the championship. And then in the second year, team two won. Then the third year, team two won again. And then team three won the last three years, right? And so if we have that... So what we need to do is to tell R that these numbers actually represent categories and are not actual, like, we're not talking about, you know, a weight, like two kilograms or three kilograms or one. We're not talking about something numeric. We're actually talking about labeling. And so the way in which you could do that is let's type factor teams is equal to, and then we'll simply type factor teams. And then, so we ran that. And then here you see that uh, we see that now R considers this categories, and the and the groups are one, two, and three. And so the way uh, a way you can access the groups of the levels is by typing levels and then factor teams. Here you see the levels are one, two, and three. And so this has been an overview of the data types in R. Thanks for watching.